Hi! The next feature exercise for your 30 day burn challenge is a pelvic tilt. You've got a lot of options on this one. I'm going to show you one and I will just chat about some of the others so that you know what you can do if you do not prefer the option that I'm showing. So the one that we're actually going to be doing is using the stability ball and a set of weights. The weights are always optional. I like to add them because they, I, I need them in order to challenge me for the exercise. If you'll notice, my stability ball needs some air, so if yours looks like this, if you're sinking into your stability ball, get some air into it. You should be sitting on the stability ball, it should be supporting you, and your knees should be at 90 degrees. If you're sitting up taller than that, your ball is too big. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my weights. If you do not have a ball, or you are not comfortable using the ball, use the floor, just lay on your back, and do exactly the same thing I'm doing with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. A bench also is an acceptable replacement for that. You would just put your back on the bench and your feet on the floor to prop yourself up. So if you're using weights, they're gonna rest right on the crease of your hips. Roll your body forward until your head, neck, and shoulders are supported on the ball. So use your hands just to balance those weights a little bit. Plant your feet so that you're grounded. Keep your pelvis lifted, navel to the spine. So you should already feel like your body is doing some work. We're going to go for set number one. Lower your tush, squeeze with your butt, not with your back. Here we go. Drop, squeeze with your tush. Two, up, three, up. We're not wasting any time here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now use just your right tush. Can you lift with just your right? Squeeze, just that right side. Two, three, just the right. Four, five, lift just that right hip, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, same thing, lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go both together at the same time. One, two, three, four, navel in, five. Six, squeeze with the glutes. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's call this a good time to rest. That was 40 reps. This one's going to go super, super fast. These are large muscle groups. They can take some weight. They can take some pressure. It is strong. It's not going to take you long at all to knock this one out. So let's just do that same thing again. We'll do it in the middle with both feet, and then we'll alternate with just one hip. Here we go. Down. One, squeeze with the butt. Two, not the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let the ball support the top of your body. And just the right hip. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Navel in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other hip. Lift. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right back to the middle. Here we go. One, two, three. Squeeze. Four. Make everyone worth it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good time to take a rest, but it's not going to be a long one again. Just 20 reps left. That's all. Going to go fast. All right, so let's do our last 20 right to the center, and let's do them all in one time. So rather than two sets of 10, let's just knock out the 20. Here we go. Roll it forward. Support the head, neck, and shoulders on the stability ball. Get yourself up. Get yourself balanced. Find that stable point with your feet. So feet further apart is going to be easier. Closer together is going to call on the, on the muscles a little bit more. Lift it up. Navel engaged. Here we go. One. Squeeze. Two. Up. Three. Keep your tempo. Four. Five, are you breathing? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway. Ten, nine, squeeze all the way up. Eight, seven, up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it all the way back. Set those weights down. And you've done another 100 reps. Nice job. Happy fitness.